All right, guys, so it's been a minute. Uh, some of you might not recognize me without my hat on, but I'm Robbie V. Just back here with a quick little update video. Basically, the S10 has kind of been on the back burner. Uh, basically, not a whole lot's been done on the S10. Um, as you can see, my garage is kind of a mess right now. Um, I haven't been real motivated to come out here and work. What are you doing, Roxy? Come here. Anyways, like I said, I haven't been real motivated to come out here and work due to the heat and everything. Uh, you know, in the videos, you basically just see me sweat my ass off and I'm miserable, so. I've just kind of been, just been slow getting parts available, getting ambition in this heat to work on it and such, but I am gonna show you the parts that have came in because I think you're gonna like them. Uh, they get me real excited, so. I'm going to show you those. Also, I picked up a new toy from Harbor Freight. We're going to do an unbox on that. And we'll just get into this video. It's going to be short and sweet. So I've got all the pistons cleaned up, the ring gaps filed, just ready to put the rings back on, assembled. Um, I got new rod bearings because this one right here had a little bit of water in the bearing and it caused a little bit of rust the, the crank cleaned up pretty good so i'm not going to worry about that but i just got some new rod bearings for that um let's see just some more mess over there um let's see what else is new i've got the got the motor put in it motor mounts made and everything like that but i'm going to wait to show you because there's some new parts sitting on the engine that I don't want to show you just quite yet. But yeah, let's take a look at what I've got so far. Hey, what are you doing? Nothing too exciting here. Just got oil pump. Can I help you? Hmm? Go lay down. But yeah, just a standard volume, standard pressure. Uh, LS7 lifters, some ARP rod bolts, and now here's where it starts to get a little exciting. VS Racing. Let's see this, what size is this? It's on the box here somewhere. 44 millimeter, 44 millimeter wastegate. And I believe this is a 50 millimeter blow off valve for ta da! God damn it. <laughs> Stay open. Ba -da. Nagasaki Noisy Boy. This is the VS Racing 7876 with the billet upgrade. Um, some oil cooler lines, and then gasket and uh, fitting for the drain if it would focus. But yeah, so that's pretty cool, that's exciting. And all of that is going to be going up on this. That's right, that is a carburetor. You're probably wondering, how are you gonna use a turbo with a carburetor. But it's not just any carburetor. It is a quick fuel technology blow through 750 CFM carburetor on top of the Holly LS carbureted intake manifold on this Junkyard 5.3. So why did I want to do a carburetor? Well, mainly because it's simple. I don't have to pay anyone to tune it. I don't have to buy any software to tune it. If I need more fuel, I just change a jet. As long as my fuel pump is capable of it, there's no, no upgrades needed. Um, also, one of the benefits of running a carburetor with forced induction is you don't have to run an uh, intercooler. Yes, an intercooler will still help, but you don't have to because the temperature drop from the top of the carburetor to the intake manifold due to the fuel atomization drops the the intake charge temp nearly in half that being said don't have to run an intercooler 
and that just makes you know all the piping simpler less packaging just and when was the last time you saw someone running a turbo with a carburetor i just want to be different yeah i know there's a lot of guys out there doing it but majority of them are efi so yeah i'm super excited for that i can't wait to get this thing going and and see people's faces when i pop the hood and they see a carburetor with a turbo but anyways all right so the new toy that i got from harbor freight today is right here in this box you might have just seen it through all that but let me show you what i got it is a central machinery four by six horizontal vertical metal cutting bandsaw yeah now the reason that i got this is because i don't have a chop saw i don't have any kind of saw i've been cutting all my tubing and pipe and everything the last while with just uh with just this with just one of these and now that i'm going to be doing a cage in this truck and doing a bunch of exhaust work i wanted a way to make perfectly straight square cuts on tubing and now I've watched a lot of YouTube reviews on this saw and basically with just a little bit of tweaking and, and, and adjustments you can get this thing to cut pretty square. Actually almost perfectly square. So I think for the money you can't beat this saw. Um, today is Labor Day so they were having a Labor Day sale on it and then I also had a 25% off coupon. So this saw that was normally 260 bucks, I think I paid, it was 210, so I got 50 bucks off. Isn't it crazy that you can save $50 just by cutting some paper out of the newspaper and handing it to them? And for that little work, you get $50 off, it's crazy. Anyways, um, actually, you don't even have to cut them out anymore, they just come on the phone, you just Google Harbor Freight coupon and you can save money, it's that simple. It's, isn't that crazy how that works? Anyways, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna open this thing up, check it out, see what I gotta do. Also, I'm probably gonna be, I'm probably gonna have to make a new stand for this. All the reviews say that the stand on this is really janky and wobbly and too short. So maybe in another video, I'll be making a new uh, stand for this to raise it up because I don't wanna be, you know, bending over and and hurting my back more than it already is to make a bunch of cuts but so yeah let's open this box up and see what we got inside All right, and with a little TV magic, it's all put together. Let's see if it works. Well, it's running. It's not very loud. Let's check. Off switch works and everything. Sweet. In one of the videos I watched, a guy showed how this uh, this worm gear mechanism that basically drives the saw blade when uh, when they're brand new these this gear right here has a really really sharp edge like they basically just quickly machine them let me grab a flashlight so you can see a little better 
So, so yeah, this gear right here just has a really sharp edge on it from machining it. They never took the time to, you know, smooth it out or polish it. So that, that rough edge is just gonna annihilate this brass gear over time. It's gonna wear it out really prematurely. Um, so I'm just gonna take a minute in this little file that I have and just file the edge off of this and smooth it out just to, to help prolong the life of this, this gear here. All right, so here's a little test cut I did on some two inch square tubing. The top you can see was cut with an abrasive chop saw. Left a really nasty burr on both sides. And this band saw made a really nice clean cut. Um, yeah, so already super impressed. Already happy, well worth the money. Um, definitely recommend this. I mean, I've only used it once, but already out of the gate. I think this is well worth the money and is gonna do me a lot of good. One thing the guys are saying is that obviously these blades that come with it, these Harbor Freight blades, aren't the best and you put a, a good quality blade on this. It probably took, I don't know, probably two to three minutes to make this cut just because uh, this blade is probably not the best quality. I'm sure a better quality blade would cut it a little bit faster. Um, I did use a little bit of this PB blaster to lubricate the blade, but but yeah, as you can see, it it, uh, it made a really nice cut. I'm really happy with it. All right, guys, I think that's it for today. As you can tell, I'm soaking wet with sweat again just from putting that saw together. Um, Man, I really, I really wish the temperature would start going down. I mean, September, let's see, it's usually over 100 degrees until October, so I've still got a little while of this heat. But I'm gonna try my best to keep going on the S10, uh, keep you guys updated, do a few more videos on it. But like I said, this video was just short and sweet. Some update on the parts, some of the stuff that's come in for that. Um, super excited about the, the turbo and the intake and the carburetor and how it's all starting to look. Um, got this new tool set up, uh, hopefully in the next video or two I'll be cutting exhaust tubing on it for the hot side of the turbo. Um, but yeah, if you're new, go ahead and subscribe, check out some of the older videos on the S10, get caught up on that, and I'll see you next time.